Hey everyone, this is Chris Stevens from New Zealand and I finally have another video for you. It's been a while and it's not as though I've stopped playing on HC SMP, the Reddit Hardcore Minecraft server. In fact, last month, or the month before rather, I managed to whore out my inn for large amounts of karma on the Minecraft subreddit. However, real life has intruded and my playtime is down quite a bit. Bit. I've moved cities for work from Wellington, being the capital, to Christchurch, a city in New Zealand that has been trashed by earthquakes. Not much to look at, but at least I'm getting paid. In any case, I have something worth videoing, and we're coming up on it now. So this might take a wee bit to load just because loading things vertically is a bit peculiar. So this is what I call Holy Sheep Mountain. It is the holiest of holy sites for all sheep everywhere. And as you can see, there are many pilgrims already engaging in the first stage of worship being ritual bathing, I guess. So we'll start this tour from the seafront, where we have statues of the main deities of the sheep pantheon. So firstly, we have the god of grass. So being a god of food, a god of plenty, and so on. Nextly, we have god of wheat, and as you might guess, that's a god of love and lust. I do wish there were a few more colours of wool so I can make things look a little bit better. It's still rather difficult to make some colours correspond to items. And then we have the third main deity of the Pantheon, being the god of not grass, so holding dirt, the grass has been eaten. And again, lots and lots of pilgrims and a pig. So, that those gods between them sum up a lot of what a sheep, what sheep have to do in their lives. But we shall intrude upon the Holy Land and see what else we can find, what secrets Holy Sheep Mountain holds. So sheep of every colour gather together. So to get into the interior of Holy Sheep Mountain, to make your way up to the Holiest Shrine, you have to enter one of these wolves. So this is a normal wolf, and that represents danger, because you never know when wolves might attack you. Over on the other side, a harder fear to conquer, fear of death. So, just over here under this overhang from the cliff, we have an enraged wolf, so the face of death. So let's conquer our fears and enter the face of death. Like any good religion, climbing numerous steps forms a substantial part of it. And with some conveniently timed sound effects, we emerge out of this one, the face of uncertainty being a tamed wolf or a dog. So you never know when it's going to attack you, even though it's theoretically tamed. So we come up here to the holiest site for all sheep, on the holiest land for all sheep. And I've had at least one visitor admins not counted. <coughs> and again, like any good religion, there are numerous steps to climb. To 
get to the top, to reach an ascended state of being. Now, as we get above about the red level, appropriately, um, falling down there will result in splatter, so I shall try not to, because that would be stupid and embarrassing. Now, as I understand it, uh, many sheep heretics were burnt concerning the true nature of brown as a colour, so some of them thought it should be at the bottom of the tower, others said it's really just a shade of orange or red, and that didn't go so well. In the end, brown ended up on the top of the tower. I wouldn't read too much significance into that, though. So, just a wee bit of darkness before we emerge at the top of the tower, almost getting close to the Minecraft build limit of 256. With a wonderful sunset. So there's not much up here, but at this height you can sort of see the expanse of the Holy Land. And some retaining walls there. Um, that one's not fenced off because sheep just don't head in that direction. Like I said before, sheep don't even render from this distance, but uh, if you watched for a while you could probably see the grass getting eaten. In any case, since it's night and I'm not going to walk all the way back down, I'm going to cheat with this ender pearl. Excellent. So, take the slightly faster way down and into the mouth of danger to see the final secrets of the Holy Sheep Mountain. This one here has been blown up about four times by creepers. Anyone exploring this a bit too enthusiastically, again, might go splat. So that's about a 40 block drop from this bridge which has collapsed. But nevertheless, there is another way down. This is an active religious site. So, we emerge from the hidden shrine, the hidden garden of Holy Sheep Mountain. And it's nicely lit, very atmospheric. And it has the fourth main deity of sheep religion, but not included with the other three, being the god of mischief, the god of unexpected cold, or more obviously, a sheep in a sheep mask. Steve in a sheep mask. So we'll just go up to the other side of the broken bridge. So we have Steve here with some shears, being the symbol of his uh, powers, and we have a iron cage filled with, I'm not sure, maybe they are virgin sacrifices or perhaps along with the swimming out to sea this is another form of sheep penitence. In any case, I'm quite happy with this part of the build because it's pretty cool if I say so myself, and started with a sizable canyon and with a combination of TNT and elbow grease, uh, opened it up a bit more so that I could get a whole statue in here. And again, too much enthusiasm and you go splat. That one's about um, 30 bucks, so that would only scare the shit out of you, as long as you're wearing full protection.
so we have a few acolytes who have descended down to the depths of the Holy Ship Mountain to face their greatest sphere. Scarier than the wolves. So now having both ascended to the top of the tower and down to the depths, we have fulfilled our religious duties and we shall emerge out into a brand new glorious day. With some relatively seamless editing. So that was Holy Sheep Mountain on the Reddit Hardcore Minecraft server hcsmp.com server IP is hardcore.hcsmp.com and while it is kind of hard to build anything on the server without it getting trashed um, it certainly pays off I think it does anyway so this is me signing off until I have something else to show you <laughs>